Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how to take the NIF files you will get from the Fallout 4 meshes, turn those into OBJ files for whatever you want, and even how to 3D print those from uh, Cura. So what you're first going to do is go to this link up here, the Nexus mod uh, for Fallout 4, and it's the Bethesda Archive Extractor. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to Files, and then you're going to click this and download it, and then extract it to your desktop or wherever you'd like it. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to go to here, which is NIFScope. NIFScope allows you to take the NIF files and actually use them. So, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to click this, NIF Scope 20152015 11267Z. And you might need 7-Zip or WinRAR to open it, probably one of those, you should have those by now. And really easy to download, just click that, extract that to your desktop as well. And you'll have some folders like these. Uh, I extracted my archive extractor to my old Fallout 4 manager folder because I didn't want to clutter up my desktop with more folders. But it doesn't matter where it goes. And then this is what NIFScope will look like minus, I think, the OBJ folder and the meshes folder. And we'll get to those later. So you're going to run the Bethesda Archive Extractor, and then it will look like this. Then you're going to go to File, Open File, and you will manage your way all the way to Fallout 4, to Data, and to the Meshes, where is it? Meshes.ba2. You're going to double click that, and you're going to have a folder that looks like this. And basically, I'm just going to extract a very small amount of files from this, but you can do as many as you want. I'm going to unclick LOD settings, and let's actually make this a little bit bigger. <laughs> and I'm going to unselect everything, and then I am just going to get the load screen art. Because the load screen art is some, I believe, higher texture. Or not higher texture, because we're not actually getting textures from this, I believe. We are just getting the just the 3D models. So you're gonna click whatever you want, there's tons of stuff, ammo gives you all the different ammos you can do, all the different people, and actors, uh, I mean there's furniture, all the different chairs and whatnot, vehicles, shows the bird bird and all the different things you can find in the world. So just, just select as much stuff as you want, but make sure everything inside of it are NIF files because those are what we are going to be using. So, after you do that, click Extract, and it'll show you uh, where you want to extract to. Let's just go to NIFScope, and make a folder called, uh, what's it called? Um, stuff. This doesn't exist. Well, I mean, we'll just do it directly. It's right here. And then it should do it. There's 173 things in there. Boom, extracted. So. Second thing you're going to want to open is NIFScope. Double click that, run, and it will look like this. Uh, if you've done anything with 3D modeling, it shouldn't look too intimidating. And what you're going to get is meshes. You should get a meshes folder. And then you're going to go to whatever you want to actually look at. So let's go to load screen art because these are cool. And let's find something interesting. Uh, spoiler alert, there's probably spoilers in here. So, sorry, um, let's just go to power armor, let's look for the highest size, because that means it probably has the most polygons. And power armor, the T60, actually, uh, do I want the T60? Now let's go for the X01, X01 looks coolest. You're going to take that file, the NIF file, and drag it in NIFScope. And there you go, you have uh, a 3D view of the actual thing that you wanted to get. So you can translate this around, you can select the different parts of it that you really want to if you want to uh, delete certain parts. Click on it and then you can do block and you can do remove. Or you do transform and you edit and then you can I mean, move it around. And if you want to get a better look at this, go to render and then we want uh, lighting only. And this will give you a slightly better view. Not great, but it's definitely better. So you can zoom in a little bit and look at it, and oh, cool, it's the X01 armor. Ooh. See all the little polygons on it, and all that jazz. And for the best part, is 
file, export, export.obj when you're done with modifying it. And let's export that. And you're just going to want to select yes to this or OK. And then I made a OBJ folder. Let's just name this. Uh, named the last one ASDF. Let's name this the X01. All right, and it's done. So let's go back to NIFScope. And when you when you export it, it'll create the .obj folder file and an MTL file as well. You don't need the MTL file. It's just kind of there. So uh, if you want to 3D print this, uh, open up a 3D printing thing that works with OBJ uh, files. I use Cura on my Mac, but since I'm recording this on my Windows computer, I'm going to just load it up here. And I don't actually have an Ultimaker, but this gives you a big, big build platform to drag stuff into. So take this, move that over, take the X01 or whatever the OBJ file you created, drag it in. And it might take a little bit to load. And here we go. Look at that bad boy in all its glory. Looks real cool. It'll tell me how long it's going to take. Let's make this fast. And uh, yeah, you can scale this around if you're using uh, Cura, uh, which is what I use. Really easy to use. See all the cool details on it. And seems to export it pretty darn well. Let's go to the slicer view. And we can see all of the intricacies of how it will print. <laughs> I probably scaled it down a little too much. But yeah, that's it. It's super easy. Once you get these OBJ files, you can, I mean, you can take those, you can rig them and put them into Gary's Mod, you can put them into uh, Cinema 4D, you can do anything with an OBJ file that you can with these files. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was a little bit long, but I hope it was as in-depth as it needed to be. And I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.